Don't sit on my shirt. We don't have to squish proper next to me. We can have a one centimetre gap, you know. It's allowed. But I want to be close to you. Well, I don't. So stop it. I was like a teacher, bro. What is that? Yeah, well, I don't. Like, like a student. Yeah, now. Bro, the fuck. Are you crazy? No. You're crazy. Ali. Are you actually crazy? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I got three kids, you know. I got three legs. Three kids to look after. I've got house. three legs. Yeah, I think you got two legs and a stump. <laughs> Alright, you need to stop. You're being mean now. Alright. This one's been going to gym, jujitsu, all sorts of shit. Jujitsu? What? Uh, just chill, bro. And no, because you're, uh, <laughs> you're, you're lying. You're lying. Relax. No, because why are you lying? Why are you lying? No, just relax. Relax. And she's like, she's getting strong. She's getting a bit too big for her boots. You know you what I'm saying? never too big for the boot. Uh, anyway. I got the big size twirls on my feet. Okay, anyways. Should we go straight into the question? Yeah, Sid's going to read it this time, so bear with us. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't Why? Because I'm going to laugh and not be able to read it. Title of this email is Work Romance. Hi, Sid and Dina. Hope you are well. Might as well get straight into it. I started a new part-time job whilst I'm at um, uni last year. <laughs> Oh, what did I do? <laughs> She's at uni last year and she started a part-time job. I didn't expect anything to happen and just thought I'd go and work. However, there's a guy that works there who's who I've seriously fallen for. To give some context, I've just turned 20, I'm British Pakistani and he just turned 26 and he's also a British Pakistani. Stop doing that. No, I'm looking. What? He's perfect for me and I know he would fit in with my family <clears throat> and my mum would like him. The problem is he has a girlfriend. He's been with his girlfriend for a few years now and I get the hint that he's considering marriage, so he says. The issue is though, he is in a long distance relationship with his girlfriend, so they barely see each other. <laughs> she wants to slide in. <laughs> she is also white. Brackets, everyone knows how Asians are with that. What, how are Asians with that? What are you trying to say? What, you, what do you mean? What does that even mean? I'm being sarcastic. Everyone knows what that means. No, that is stupid for it's you not. to even say that. No, it's not. She's got a fair point. What are you on about? That is not a fair point. That's like saying, oh, you know how all black dudes are with white white women. Like, that's such uh, an assumption. Sid, bro. hello. We know this is an issue. That is not an issue, bro. Uh, Anyways, let me carry on. And what? Listen, listen, listen. And everyone encourages me that I have a chance. The fact that he is in a relationship should mean he's out of bounds for me which is usually the case because I would never want to be that type of girl, but you do. But there is undeniable chemistry. Even everyone at work sees it. Everyone at work jokes around about us and he never denies it. A colleague even told me that he said if it wasn't for his girlfriend, he would go there with me. I just don't know whether to wait for him or not and what to do because I can't change my feelings, but I'm also scared that if he gets married, I will just be broken inside. But he also might not get married. I've tried talking to other guys, but no one at uni or elsewhere is anything on him. She's, I'm sprung. I'm the type of girl that wants to get married young, but I don't know if he is. I just don't know what to do. Any advice, please? Girl, you sprung. You sprung. <laughs> She's like obsessed. <laughs> Sounds like he is too. <laughs> it doesn't sound like he's obsessed. He's got a girlfriend. Well, it sounds like he's enjoying having He's enjoying a bit of butt ones. <laughs> and that he's also enjoying a bit of banter and chemistry at work. Yeah. Basically, that's what it sounds like. You know when you're at that age that there's always like loads of people on the scene. But he's but he's six years older than her. Yeah, but he's still young, he's twenty six. Six years. Six, six. Yes. But he's still young, is what I'm saying. But six years. So you know when you're twenty all the way to even like all the way till you get married, basically, there's like always people on the scene, yeah? Especially when you're that young and working like, what was she working in a call centre? People on the scene? Is she working on a call centre? even me. Is she working in a call centre? Probably. That, I imagined a call centre straight say. off the she bat. Didn't say. She didn't say, but well, it's a Well, I imagined center. a call centre too. It's a call centre, bro. We're just guessing she's in a call centre because obviously when you're 20, you're probably not going to have, you're probably not going to be in the job that you're going to be in forever. Highly likely, but you might be, but highly likely you're not. It sounds to me like he's got a girlfriend who he's been with for ages, long distance. So he's missing out on obviously having that daily 
chemistry with his girlfriend and so he's getting it with you at work. Unless he's expressed his concerns to you about the, the fact that his girlfriend is white and he might have issues with his family, I think he'll still go ahead and be with his girlfriend and not choose you over her. And I don't think you should push it because I don't think it's fair just because she's white. I just find doesn't it... Doesn't mean I just that you can disregard their relationship just... as important just because you you think maybe, oh, his family won't I'm be able Pakistani. to... I'm Pakistani. I've got something on her. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, we don't need to be rude to her. No, we yeah, do need to be rude to you because it's a stupid thing to say and it's a stupid thing to, to even think. Like, no, but... How, how... No, but it is a relevant feeling because I know loads of people are like that. Arab girls do it. People, black girls do it. We do it. I've had I know, so many pa do it. Pataan girls literally making little thingies at me. Like, uh, or remember, like talking to you in fucking Pashto in front of me, knowing I can't speak it. No, you're just, you're just. A bit... No, 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 no. But just think of it like that. Think of it. It's them putting their thing and like, you know, well, I'm Pakistani, so I can. No, we've got something. Dina thinks That's about it that like. way. Dina's a bit paranoid. No. I don't think about it that way. When a dude talks to you in Arabic, I don't. I'm just like, yeah, whatever, it's the same fucking language no, you're speaking. No, but in of. the beginning days, yeah, but why would you need to do that? Why would you need to do that when somebody there... It's just a normal thing, isn't it's it? It's not normal, because when somebody there doesn't speak the language, it's just rude. It's rude to do it. But we have difference in opinion. It's rude. That. Okay, that's besides the point. Your point is that that's not a valid point. That's not a valid point at all. The fact that you're Asian and she's white, because it just dis disregards, you're just assuming that... That's oh, why he's with her. Oh, she's just a white girl, so it, 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 can't, white. it can't be a serious relationship. But you don't know really what they've been through. You don't know. Like, it's just not, an, it's not a good assumption. So you are you going to turn around? If he was with a Pakistani girl, are you going to turn around and just leave it alone? Yeah, if, you, if he was with a Pakistani girl, that would you not even have gone sense. there? Because if that is the case, then you've got an issue. <laughs> And you it, got the issue, bro. Yeah, but like, if you're gonna go there, just know you're gonna be a home wrecker. Even though they haven't built a home together yet, but still, you will be a home wrecker, regardless of whether she's white or whether she's Pakistani. You've got no place to be doing that anyway. Mm. I know it, it takes two to tango, and if he's flirting with you, blah blah, he shouldn't really be doing that. His girlfriend would probably probably hate it. But I I just wouldn't entertain it if I were you, knowing that he's taken. I just wouldn't. I yeah. wouldn't entertain that because there's like a million dudes, the billions of dudes out there, bro. Yeah, I wouldn't entertain it. I wouldn't entertain it. And you have to remember, if it's meant for you, he will be yours, rig, rig, like without you having to be to do the the bad thing, you know. <laughs> In it though. Hello, cheeky chops. You've got an elephant. It's, it's really hot right I now. I like this elephant. And he's he's only got. An Did you eat your pasta, cheeky chops? No, I eat it. You did eat it. Good boy, you can have Good ice lolly boy. in a minute. Do you want an ice lolly? Because it's hot outside? Okay, I'll go get you ice lolly. I personally wouldn't go there. Yeah. I wouldn't go there um, because her being... Them being long distance doesn't make a difference to me, personally. Yeah, I we mean, know. We you can go there if you want. It's up to you at the end of the day. Do what you want. But if you want our advice, like my advice would be like they're in a relationship. Why That's would you be rude. that person? Yeah. Why would you be that person to go and do that? You're saying you don't you don't want to be that that girl. Well, if you're thinking about it, you 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 want to be that girl. Yeah. <laughs> if if he knows that you guys have chemistry. If you have chemistry, just leave it to the guy to to, to exactly. make his move. That's what I'm saying. You guys know that you clearly like each other. Don't be that girl who like. I just wouldn't do it. And then if if it's meant for you guys to be then that will happen naturally without you having to go and basically be like a if it, if he, person, he he's got a, he's got it's not like it's not weird he's 26 he's 6 years older than you he's got a girlfriend he's in a relationship i'm sure he knows how to approach a woman if he's interested you know what i mean it's not like you're both in high school and you need to like Oh, it's all like, oh, I don't know how to approach this shit. Well, you know he's what not I mean? going to approach while he's No, taken. what I'm saying is if there's chemistry there and, it's, and he, he, he's like, oh, I'm interested in this girl and he breaks up with his existing girlfriend or whatever and then you guys get to start talking, you know what I mean? Then that's more of a natural way for it to happen than you going in and being like, yo, what's up? Another thing is when you guys get in a relationship, you will forever be that person that ruined that relationship yeah, cause that if was they're, existing. Yeah, if they're long distance and they've been together for years, just think if it was you. Yeah, and like, then you had long distance relationship with a guy and he was the, your perfect man but then he was working in another city because it's long distance and some girl was just 
being too friendly and they were getting on as friends and then he developed feelings. You'd hate her. Yeah, so like them being in a long distance relationship is not a factor. Like that shouldn't be a factor for you to say, can I swoop in here? Yeah. And her being white, that shouldn't be a factor at all. Like, no. no. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Like you, you have no idea what kind of relationship they have. He might be having banter and chemistry with you, blah, 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 and all this stuff. On the flip side, you don't even know the guy. You might not even know him. Mm. You say he's the perfect man. How? You work in a call centre. You, you, you also, probably don't know anything about him. Well, we, we assume she works in a call centre. Oh, also, yeah, oh, call centre, sorry. Yeah. But, like, but also, how is he the perfect man if he's having bare chemistry with you yeah. but he's got a long distance uh, relationship? That that's tells not me the, that's, that's not, that's the, not perfect the perfect man. dude, bro. That's not the perfect that's dude. That's not the perfect dude. Like, if he, if he can do it to her, he can do it to you. Yeah. It's that simple. He might be one of those guys who gets on with a lot of women is able to have feelings for multiple just one. women's or just no, one no well, multiple or just women's. get or just get or just women's. has chemistry with a lot of women and there's nothing there for him he might just or oh, women's <laughs> there might he might be look everybody's different every guy's different <laughs> stop it every guy's different i'm making a point he might be the type of guy that ha is has his feelings for one woman completely that's this and has chemistry w with a wait has banter with other people, but has no feelings for them whatsoever. Or he it's might possible. be a guy who is able to have feelings he's, he's, for multiple women. So you could just be one of the multiples. Do you know? Like, do you understand what I'm saying? You you actually like by reading your email, like you don't know anything about him, bro. Like you have no idea. And also, can I just say, and this is probably the most important thing, you don't know anything about yourself because you're yeah. only twenty. And I would say twenty is too young to get married. Purely because the amount of natural growth that will happen in your 20s into your 30s is unbelievable that you will end up being a different human being on the other side of each decade. So I would not rush into things. We sound old as hell now. No, I don't wanna, I've met true. a lot of 20s, they're very mature. Like, yeah, the, what very, I'm it's saying not about is, being mature, it's about them knowing themselves and they yeah, will I, have developed as human beings yeah, 10 years old. But that, that's obviously. not dependent on age, personally. There's a lot of 20-year-olds out there. No, there's a lot of 20-year-olds out there. It's dependent um, on life experience yes, and obviously exactly. that comes with age. Yeah. So I feel like by your email and your actions and everything, that don't they take offense to this, but you don't have a lot of experience in this. You don't have a lot of experience in judgment and you've, at face value, you're thinking this is the perfect guy. Like... You you can't be like that. You can't you can't you can't treat relationships like that or get to know someone. You need to actually get to know them before you decide this is the perfect person. Yeah, but you shouldn't because he's in a relationship. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying like even if you move move on and you meet someone else, you can't you can't get sprung on people like and just be infatuated with them. Well, this is what I'm saying. You're only twenty, and this is what my point was earlier on when the when they'd get all the 18 to 22 year olds working in call centers, everyone gets sprung really quick. Yeah, like... That's what I'm saying, is the age but thing. No, but it's an age thing. But at the same time, you get 18 to 20 year olds that are really mature and, and, and are, you know, don't go there. Don't, they don't get sprung. They don't fall in love overnight and all that stuff. Yeah. It does happen. Mm. But mm. I feel like you're... You, you, you've literally done that, like, and you don't even know the guy. But the so, thing is, that's fine. That, that it's not. We we can't we can't sit here and like blame you or be like, oh, how could you develop feelings? No, we're not saying that. That's completely fine, completely normal. But the point is, don't be the person to pursue it when you know he's in a relationship just because you think that his relationship with a white girl is invalid. And if it's meant to happen, it will happen. You guys will be together without you butting in and ruining it and being that person without the drama. Let him just deal with his shit. If he's meant for you, he will be for you. And. No one can take that away. And there is a bazillion perfect guys out there. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. You might turn around one day and be like, well, that's the perfect guy, actually. That's what I'm saying. No, 10 years later, guy, you Not might turn around and be later. like, oh, actually. It could actually, be tomorrow. Yeah, your idea of a perfect guy <laughs> might change. That's your the idea of a perfect guy right now is what? Like, I don't want to be mean, but it's what? A person you have chemistry with. Like, that's all that's happened. You have had chemistry with this guy. You, you you like the way he looks. There's a billion guys out there that you could have chemistry with and you could mm -hmm. like the look of. You haven't delved deeper into um, what, what his tendencies are, what, what kind of character he has. You don't know all that because it's just a work relationship. 
when you're in work relationships, you actually don't know the person outside of work. Like, you don't know that person. Yeah. You don't know who they are. Yeah. You, the person outside of work can be completely different to the person you see in work. Yeah. Because it is, it is a setting that you need to put on a face. You need to act a certain yes. way. You need to be different. Um, you know what I mean? That There's plenty of people that are completely different in work compared to outside of work. So yes. you're not going to know that. So what's, I, I the, what's, the, what's the final? Well, the final thing is what we said already. Don't go there. Or Don't invalidate their relationship just because it's or because you think. You can yeah. do what you want and learn in the long, long run. <laughs> Or you could do that. Or you can do that. You could do that. If so you want. it's completely up to you with End what you do. End of the day, you could do whatever you want. You could do whatever you want. The world is your oyster. The really. world is your oyster. Do what you want. We don't know you. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Where are we going with this? <laughs> On the flip side, you could do what you want. You could be the home wrecker. Two years down the line, everybody's gonna forget you. Oh, you are the home wrecker. <laughs> but then your home might get wrecked because karma. Because <laughs> karma's a bitch. Karma's a bitch. So. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, and then it might happen to you. Uh, there is that you one thing, that. like you know, um, it could happen that he's still in a relationship with the other person, and then he's in a relationship with you. Then what we say is, once a cheat, always a cheater. Um, and uh, if it happens to you, then don't be crying. Just what? remember us; that we'll be in your head going, "Told you so." <laughs> Where is this going? I told you so. <laughs> That's it, really. There's no more advice to give you. We said that. Yeah, we said that. Bit. <laughs> You finished your ice lolly! I am it! Should we wash your hands and your mouth? Come on, go step on the stool. Anyways, we'll Let's catch you guys on, on the, the next one. Say bye, bye Mika. Bye bye. Say bye. You just put your ice cream hands on Say my bye and your mouth. Ew. Oh, Mika, bro! Come on, let's wash hands. Say bye, Mika. Bye. Say bye. bye. Say bye. Come on, Mika, bye. bye. Alright, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.